Hello guys, this video will be about a scriptable object um, and we're going to use a, scri a scriptable object for um, like a data file container, I believe that's the way Unity uh, tends to call it. So what basically a scriptable, uh, scriptable object is, is uh, just like when we have the player here, uh, we have properties where we are setting the run speed, walk speed and, and stuff from our fields. Instead we're going to create a file which will con contain these values and then we can uh, change these values from uh, a different uh, 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 setting screen or uh, inspector screen and we can also make these changes at runtime so it will save it and we can have duplicates or more versions of it so if we wanted to test something out we can make a copy of the of the file and then later use it um, also um, maybe you sometimes um, that's the reason why we are going to use it uh, for our enemy player I wanted to move at the same speed as our player does and I wanted to change it to a walking speed which we will also do when it's patrolling and it hasn't detected our player yet but then I don't want to copy over these values uh, from the player I want to use a, uh, uh, a file which is used by both the player and both the enemy player yeah so uh, it's uh, very easy to use so let's create a new folder and let's call this a scriptable objects and this is basically the the file which is used to create a new uh, setting file or a data file uh, let's call this um, SWAT soldier doesn't doesn't really uh, matter and let's open it up there we go And instead of inheriting from a mono behavior, we're going to inherit from a scriptable object. Um, and then we are going to assign the uh, values. And this is the most simple form of using a scriptable object, by the way. Okay, then we're going to use the variables we want. So uh, let's go to the player. And we're going to use this run, walk, crowd, and sprint speed for our um, run, walk, crowd, sprint. So we make gonna make a public float um, run speed and a public float walk speed, public float. Please note that I'm now using a uh, lower uh, capitals, uh, lower casing here, but I'm gonna refactor it because the the methods are public, but I'm gonna change it later on. So all the references get changed automatically with it. Uh, and then we're going to say public float sprint speed. Yeah. Now to make use of this um, scriptable object from the um, uh, from the from Unity engine itself, from the Unity, we're going to create an asset menu, uh, which takes <coughs> I'm sorry, which takes in a file name uh, and a menu name. And what we're going to do, we're going to say uh, here uh, file name equals to SWAT soldier. And um, we're going to say the, I'm sorry, we're going to say the menu name is equals to uh, data, the folder we want to have it in. And then we're going to say SWAT soldier. So basically, it's going to create. Um, uh, a, a menu in our uh, in our right click <coughs> menu it's going to on a create a data folder and then assign a SWAT soldier then it will create a new file called SWAT soldier and this will keep all this uh, this will have all these properties yeah so we did that done let's wait for it to compile now let's make a new uh, folder in the root um, sorry in the root here so let's create a new folder. Let's call this uh, sh uh, settings. And then we're going to say right click, create. And then here we is, here's our new folder, data, and say SWAT soldier. And now when it is created, you can see the properties here, which we have, uh, which we, which we have uh, assigned in the SWAT soldier. So let's copy over the values here, 5218, 5218. So it's going to be five, two, one, and eight. And now we're going to change the 
player class to take the uh, scriptable object file of, um, instead of using these properties. So what we're going to do, open up the player. Let's uh, remove the old properties. And then we're going to say our SWAT soldier, which is our uh, scriptable object. And let's call this um, settings. Uh, Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if that's a, that's a good name for it, um, because we are we are making the. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm rambling a little bit. Uh, SWAT soldier. Just that's going to keep its settings for now, and we'll see what it uh, what it does. So if we go back to play, wait for it to compile. Uh, now we still have an error because uh, we are still. Um, using the old uh, values here so what we're going to do we're going to look at these and change them to settings run speed settings walk speed sprint speed and crowd speed okay now if we go back there we go now you can see it's changed here to settings and then uh, we need to assign a SWAT soldier setting file to it. Now, you don't assign the uh, scriptable object itself. You can see you cannot even drop it, but you can uh, drop the setting SWAT soldier here. Now, now we have dropped it on, it will do exactly the same as we did uh, previously. If you look here in the right, it does the same. But if we go to our SWAT soldier and we increase the run speed to something very high. You can see it's changed. Now if we stop, it still um, keeps remember, it still remembers the, uh, the values here. Yeah, so basically what you want to do if you want to test something out, we're going to duplicate one and we're going to say uh, whatever and then you can use it and later swap it over, yeah? Without losing your settings. Okay, well that's it for um, uh, for the scriptable object. Now, with the scriptable object created, we're gonna use it also for our enemy player here because in our um, enemy player, let's see, where do we have the speed set? Um, I don't think we have it set anywhere. Let's open up the enemy player. Um, Pathfinder maybe. No, we're not we're not setting any speeds. Um, look, we if you open up the Nav Mesh agent from the enemy player, you can see the speed here, and we're gonna assign this speed using our our uh, SWAT soldier setting file. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna change the enemy player to allow it to give um, the scriptable objects uh, also. So let's uh, open up enemy player and then say serialize field. We're gonna do the SWAT soldier settings. And when we um, awake, we're gonna change the, um, when we awake, we're gonna change the, or start maybe, we're gonna set the speed of the, uh, of the nav mesh agent so we can also change it when we are sprinting or walking with our player because right now we are running and I want it to walk uh, between the waypoints when it hasn't detected our player and maybe go in a more aggressive state uh, when it de in when it's uh, detected our player and when it wants to fight us yeah um, let me take a zip of my coffee here Okay, so now with this settings uh, done, we're going to say settings. We're going to say at the Pathfinder here. So we're in the enemy player, we're going to say Pathfinder agent, because we have a reference already to it. And we're going to set the speed to our settings um, run speed. Yeah. Now, let's go to the SWAT soldier and change this uh, around. If you hit, uh, if you refactor it, and you make a change, and you have Shift Alt F10, then you can rename um, 
you can rename the fields and then all the references should be automatically updated to this um, to these fields there you go see it's it's, it's automatically changed to a uh, uh, capital R and in our uh, player also yep okay don't forget to save all that because otherwise it will uh, won't set so now we have the speed set at five now if we um, uh, did I clear this out hmm five two one eight not really sure how that's how did that how that happened um, but okay um, so now we have our uh, enemy player here and uh, we're gonna assign the settings file to it it's probably cleared because we changed the names yeah probably yeah so uh, with that set let's change it to uh, six just for testing so now if we look at our nefmesh agent it's currently set at five and if we hit play it will change to six yeah now we can switch it back to five so now we can control our speeds with our from from all our uh, every reference to this SWAT soldier uh, setting file uh, at one place without going through all the game objects yeah um, okay well uh, that's it for this video um, in the next video we'll we will start on uh, making our uh, enemy uh, move around slowly uh, like walking and then also scanning for our player and when it sees our player it will start shooting at our player and eventually kill our player yeah see you in the next video